Hi, welcome back to our Road to Steam series, a series in which we'll be creating a game from scratch. Previously on our Who's Dev Diaries, we created a dynamic skybox. In today's episode, we'll finalize the implementation of our sky inside Unity. Interested to follow the progress of our game? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get all the latest development updates every week. For today's devlog, we had planned to implement a camera shake system inside the game. However, we weren't satisfied with the results of our most recent episode, so we decided to postpone this feature and have another go at our skybox. After posting our previous development update, we collected your feedback over the following days to see what were the problems with our sky. The first thing that came up is how noisy the background felt after adding our clouds into the mix. There wasn't a clear divide anymore between the mountains and our sky, which made everything look like a messy melting pot of ambiguous shapes. This was also amplified by the blur value we added to the images, making all that noise blend together even more. Knowing this, we tried new cloud arrangements and blur values to fix these problems. However, after multiple iterations, we slowly came to the conclusion that these issues did not stem from poorly placed clouds. It came from the method itself. We realized that the modular approach to creating a skybox wasn't working for us. We couldn't bring to life the vision we had in mind by simply combining clouds above our mountain range. So we decided to throw everything in the trash and think of a new strategy. Before introducing you to our new technique, we'd like to explain to you what type of skybox we need, as some of its visual aspects are directly linked to the narrative of the game. There are two key elements that we want to preserve when building a sky. A progression of darkness from left to right, which is exemplified by our gradient. And a tube-like shape that characterized the overall shape of the land. With our previous skybox, we had the gradient aspect, but we were missing our second element. So to resolve this issue, we found a new way we could implement clouds among our 2D environment. Instead of having them soar above the mountains like in our previous iterations, they will flow around them as if they were banks of fish, something reminiscent of how clouds behave in high mountainous areas. To accomplish this vision, we'll need a new approach. Our plan is to drop our old modular method and completely make our sky inside Krita. We'll draw clouds around our already existing environment to create the tube-like shape we seek. This new technique will allow us to have more control over how everything harmonizes together, as we'll be able to directly adjust specific areas of the background. Our goal with this approach is to build a new sky that removes the muddy visuals found in our previous attempts. And this all begins with our first step, the sketching process. When our initial sketch is done, we fill it with temporary colors. This allows us to get an overall view of how the final result will look. If parts of the drawing seem off, we adjust them until everything is to our liking. We then trace a final sketch over the initial one. This is done to create clean and smooth lines for our shapes. When that's taken care of, the next step is to apply some shading.
if this was a standard environment background, we would stop there when it comes to shading. However, to differentiate our clouds from our mountains, we'll add additional shading layers that will accentuate their look. Our first layer is smooth shadows. These shadows are meant to increase the 3D perception of our sky. When used properly, they really help us bring a volumetric aspect that differentiates our clouds from the ground. The next layer we'll add is some smooth shading. Compared to the hard shading technique we used moments ago, smooth shading is achieved by applying multiple colors upon each other with varying levels of transparency. The purpose of this is to blend our clouds with the background gradient, creating a richer atmosphere for our sky. When that's done, we repeat all of these steps to fill the remaining space of our backdrop. To complete our skybox, we apply some blurriness to our environment. But instead of giving the same amount to everything like we did previously, we assign different values to particular pieces of our background. This is done to create a subtle contrast between our clouds and mountains, which makes them stand out more individually. In addition to this, we also sharpen the edges of our mountains to further accentuate this aspect of their visual presentation. It all culminates in a more readable background when you look at it as a whole. Finally, we also built our sky so that it can receive special effects in the future. We plan to add things like God rays later on to make our sky more interactive. But that's a subject for another video. Stay tuned for our next episode where we'll implement a camera shake system. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you next week for the new episode of our Road to Steam series. Skulle lenge